In this video, I am going to be sharing with you 10 most dangerous criminals that terrorized Nigeria and their true crime story. Every nation of the world has in one way or the other experienced criminal attacks from its citizens or non-citizens. Nigeria, a country located in West Africa, has also had its fair share of criminal attacks where the likes of hoodlums, armed bandits, terrorists and deadly criminals have instilled great fear in the minds of its citizens. So in today's video, we will talk about the 10 most dangerous criminals and notorious criminals that terrorized Nigeria and their true crime story. Number 1 Deriko Wamama Deriko Wamama, whose real name is Okudele Ndiwe, was given the title of King of the Underworld. Residents of Onisha, a commercial city in Anambra state, were the set of people who experienced this onslaught the most. According to sources, Deriko had allegedly murdered over 100 people, which include about 25 police officers. He was known to be a merciless arm robber who robbed buses with gang members. Anambra State Police Command launched an operation to capture Deriko and his gang members but failed. While some of his gang members were later caught, the leader himself was still on the run. However, he did not run for a long time as the Bakasi Boys, a very popular vigilante group set up to reduce crime in the southeast, finally got hold of the deadly criminal in 2001. The Bakasi Boys paraded the Rikowa Mama at Onisha Roundabout and finally beheaded him in an open square. Number 2 Ishola Onyenusi Dr. Ishola Onyenusi was the first known arm robber in the history of Nigeria. He took the country by storm shortly after the civil war in 1970 and committed several crimes and mayhem against humanity. And before he was executed in 1971 at the famous Babi show in front of over 30,000 Nigerians watching, no one believed that the doctor as he called himself could be captured as he was rumored to be invincible. When Ishola Onyenusi reigned at the height of his exploits, he declared, and I quote, The bullet has no power over me. Ishola Onyenusi got into active robbery back in 1959, but he committed his first major robbery when he snatched a car along Habat Macaulay Road in Yaba, Lagos, and killing its owner in the process just because his girlfriend was broke and needed money to buy her makeup. By the end of the civil war, Ishola Onyenusi had turned into a cold-blooded arm robber who took delight in causing pain to his victims. The last robbery that ended his journey was in Ikeja, Lagos in March 1971. Dr. Ishola Onyenusi's execution was celebrated by relieved Nigerians who trooped out in masses to the bad beach in Lagos to witness the end of a man who has held the country to ransom. While being tied on the drum for execution, he kept smiling. He smiled to his death. Number 3 Shina Rambo Those who had previously experienced the onslaught of Shina Rambo would never forget him. He is just like other notorious criminals and he was also an arm robber. According to various reports, he was capable of robbing an entire highway alongside his gang. Meanwhile, while some reports have it that he died while in operation, others say he died as an ordinary man. He was well vested with charms and black magic for protection. He was known to be a demigod while he operated on busy highways until the day he met his waterlaw. Number 4 Abu Bakr Shekau Abu Bakr Shekau 
was born in 1970 and died on 19th May 2021. He was the leader of Boko Haram. He terrorized Nigeria from 2009 to 2021 until he was killed by the Nigerian Air Force at Zambiza Forest on 19th May 2021. He is a Fulani man from Kanuri in Bonu State in the northern part of Nigeria. He served as a deputy leader to the growth founder Mohammed Yusuf until Mohammed Yusuf was executed in 2009 and he became the leader of Boko Haram. He is responsible for several suicide bombings, kidnappings and killings of many Nigerians and foreigners. In March 2015, Abubakar Shekau pledged allegiance with Isil. He made the leadership of President Goodluck Jonathan very tough. He caused Nigerians, most especially those in the north, nightmare. He is regarded as the worst criminal in the history of Nigeria. Number 5. Gracious West Gracious David West, popularly known as the Portaco serial killer, reportedly had a tough childhood. He claimed that his mother was poisoned and that as the only son of his father, much was expected of him but he could not deliver. So he ventured into crime. He was a member of Dick Ham, a fraternity group that is notorious in Nigeria for engaging in acts of violence and mayhem. His modus operandi was always the same. Every night he scouted for girls at local clubs around the city of Port Harcourt. He lured them to local hotels in the suburb of the city, sleeps with them and suffocates them to death. His victims were always found with pieces of white clothes tied around their legs. Gracious before his arrest on 19 September 2019, while trying to flee from the city of Port Harcourt, confessed to having killed at least 15 women in three months. Number 6. Bado of Ikorodu Bado of Ikorodu has been described as one of the most dangerous criminals in Nigerian history. He operates especially in the Ikorodu Aziz of Lagos State while molesting children and women as well as robbing people of their valuables. Bado of Ikorodu terrorized Ikorodu for a very long time while escaping attempts by the police to convict him, even after he was arrested multiple times. However, on one occasion where he got released by the police, the Ikorodu community became very angry and decided to put a stop to his terror. They hunted after Bado of Ikorodu, caught him and set him on fire. Number 7. Abiodun Egunjobi Abiodun Egunjobi is also known as Godogodo. He was a deadly criminal who terrorized Lagos in the southwest region of Nigeria. He was also known as the one eye assassin who killed without mercy and did all sorts of atrocities. He was apprehended on 1st August 2013 after a series of attempts to arrest him for over 14 years by the Nigerian security forces proved abortive. According to reports, he was very good at disguising his criminal activities that his wife and his family members never knew that he was a criminal. Godo Godo was a gun lover as he goes for his operation with bags often loaded with AK-47 rifles. His house in Lagos, Ondo and Ogun State is also flooded with rifles of different kinds. Number 8. Monde Osumbo Monde Osumbo was a notorious criminal and a very good accomplice of Lawrence and Nene's gang. In the gang, he was the one who performed the function of executing people. He had a short temper and wasted no time in killing people. Monde Osumbo was killed alongside Lawrence and Nene in 1987. He was described by the media as the most dangerous criminal in Nigerian history to mankind. 
Number 9. Shukode Evans. Evans, whose full name is Shukode Dumeme Onamadiki, was an infamous kidnapper and arm robber who came into the limelight after being arrested in 2017 by Police Special Anti Robbery Squad headed by Abakare. Evans hails from Newi in Anambra State. He is also referred to as the Bilonia Kidnapper because the Nigerian police force believes he is one of the richest kidnapped kingpin in the history of Nigeria. The Inspector General of Police Special Intelligence Response Team IROT, of the Nigerian police force described Evans as a very smart, crafty and intelligent criminal who invaded arrest for more than four years despite being on the most wanted list in three states. Number 10. Kayode Williams Kayode Williams was a deadly arm robber who allegedly murdered people without thinking twice. While he confessed about his crime, Kayode Williams explained how he pounded babies and made use of them for spiritual fortification. Kayode Williams was converted to Christianity while he was in jail for over 10 years. That is to say, after committing several crimes to humanity, he was convicted for life imprisonment. But after spending 10 years in prison, he became a converted Christian and a born again and started converting souls for Christ.